Yeah, so all of you that don't know, today is food on a stick today. So, we're going to make some food on a stick. It's going to be chicken shish kebabs. Yeah, so and here's a good start. Now, we got some uh, cherry tomatoes. We got some nice mushrooms. We got some chicken that's marinated Take in two. chicken that's marinated in Dijon mustard, olive oil, garlic, and pepper. And we got an onion. Then we got some skewer sticks. Those are pretty long. There they are. They've got, uh, they're from Turkey or somewhere. Then we're going to grill them on the barbecue. Yeah, and then there's this ingredient here, a lemon. It doesn't go on the sticks, but it'll uh, get grilled on the grill, and that makes it really nice to squeeze on it. There's a site of spring. All the crows are here trying to find a girlfriend. And there they go. Now there's all that stuff ready to go. I'm gonna put it on the shish kebabs now. Then I'll show you another picture of it. So the chicken goes on, and the mushrooms go on, and the onion goes on, and the tomato goes on. And then we get them all on those sticks. Yeah, there they are. They're all set to go on the grill. I gotta put some, uh, maybe a bit of spice and pepper on them, and then have at her. Yeah, and along with the uh, kebabs, which is stick stuff, we're going to have Caesar salad. Now we made Caesar salad the other day, dressing. And there's uh, bacon for it and the lettuce for it. And that'll go real good with our kebabs. Okay. Yeah, here we are. We got our kebabs ready. We got some pepper going on there. We get lots of pepper. Everybody loves pepper. That's pretty boring, isn't it? Hey, you want to see some more pepper? This is more pepper. I think we're out of pepper. That's... <laughs> Apparently I was, I was supposed to keep going. Yeah, keep on going. There you go. you got to put some of this spice on it. This stuff here is chicken spice, it's called. From Edith. From Edith. And Gary. And Gary, but it comes from a manufacturer that doesn't have that name. And it tastes really good on chicken. It tastes really good on non-chicken. There we go. That's good. That's yeah, thick. so on to the grill they go. This one here can go on there. Well, that sounds good. You get smell o -matic with this stuff. That one here can go on there. This one here can go on there. This one here goes on there. This is for two people, if you can imagine. And this is all the, left, the little leftover pieces that I had, so they can go on by themselves. Now, you don't want to be touching those sticks again with your bare hands. You have to get the, uh, the tongs on to lift them and turn them over. And you let them cook long enough so they aren't sticking anymore to the, pan, to the grill, and then they turn over nice. There you go. More to come. Yeah, now it's time to turn them all over, I hope. Try right, this one first. Well, got most of it. Got all of that one. Try this one next. Got all of that one. Now the trick is to get in here without burning your hand off. Yeah, I got all that one. And the last one is that one. That worked not bad. Not bad at all. The camera wasn't on it all the time. Now I've got new and more pepper in the pepper mistaker, so I'll put some more of that on. Because it helps. I like pepper. But it gets a bit hot in here after a while. And then we'll put some more of this spice on here. If I can get it open. Gotta open it. Oh, that stuff there. I just pinch it up and put it on. And it works pretty good. And it doesn't matter if it gets a bit on the grill, because it just gets nice smoke. Can't hurt that. Yeah, let them cook for a while. Have a beer. Okay, I will. Now, what do you do with these damn lemons, eh? Oh, there. You just stick it on the grill this way. And take the other one. Stick it on the grill that way. And let them grill for a while. They get, uh, it takes the bitterness out of them. It makes them nice and sweet lemons. Not... Sweet, not bitter. How do you say that? Who knows? 
Ah, uh, how are they doing? Ah, uh, oh, they're looking pretty good. Maybe we'll give them another turn here and see how they're making out on the other side. I'll just give them a quarter turn or so and so they don't get all crusty on one side. Oh, that one won't do it. There we go. Got it. Now these guys, see how they come up like that? Pretty nice. Give them a little bit of a turn on the grill and then there's a cross hatch on them. That looks good. Okay, let them cook for a bit more and we'll put together the uh, Caesar salad. There we go. Yeah, so here's what we need for a Caesar salad. You got the uh, lettuce all into bite sized pieces and then you got these croutons here. You get them at the store. Fry up some bacon bits that are nice and fresh and then you get some nice uh, Parmesan cheese from the store. So that stuff there is pretty nice. And then the, the Caesar salad dressing is, is a dressing that I, I made about maybe four or five days ago. We had a Caesar salad and I make enough dressing for about three Caesar salads. But you can look at another YouTube Tasty Caesar Salad to see about that one. Yeah, so it's time to get the lemons off now. And they look pretty nice that way. They're just nice for squeezing on the chicken later. You gotta let them cool off a bit or else they'll burn your hands off too. And this stuff here is pretty well ready. So we'll get the Caesar salad put together and then we'll uh, be right back out here. Oh, there we go. Here we go. We got the uh, bacon bits in there, as you can see. And the uh, two pounds, spread them around a bit, as you can see. How many two pounds do you like? What? A little bit? Okay. That's one. That's one. Then you put this Parmesan cheese on. Lots of this stuff. This is good. Then we'll get out the homemade piece of salad dressing and give all that stuff on. You know it's why I'm um, just like some crumbs. Tony likes to chew up more. Tony's yeah, got a good taste. Tony would be like biting the bullet, huh? Here we go, now we toss it up. Now you can put pepper on it to your taste at the table. Not that we don't do that here. But we could do it. It's up to you. That's the end of the Caesar salad for this trip. Have to make more. Good stuff. There we go. Set for the table. Here we go. Now. Oh, now. <laughs> That's action. In, in, oh, in movie words, action. it's action. We've got an empty plate and we have the grill and we've got what's been grilled. Wonderful looking shish kebabs. So we'll take off the little one and then we'll take off this one here. Then I'll take these all off the shish kebab holders and, and put it in the bowl and put them on the table. That's why I've got the bowl here. And they come out pretty nice and they'll be pretty tasty. I'm sure. We need smell-o-vision. Yeah, you need smell-o-vision. You're gonna... It smells really good. Woo! Well, we'll do 3D. Woo! <laughs> there you go. Recording. Action. Action. Oops. There you go. I forgot again. Yeah. So I get all the uh, bits off of the shish kebab sticks and into this bowl. And they all, if they're cooked up good, they slide off easy. If they're not cooked up, they don't slide off easy. But you got to be careful with those tomatoes because they they squick and get everywhere unless you're very careful about them. That would be squirt to most people. Yeah. Well, some people. That's and a lot of food. That's enough food for two guys, don't you think? <laughs> Maybe we'll save some for tomorrow. <laughs> Could be uh, shish kebab sticks again tomorrow without the sticks. Now sometimes I also put cloves of garlic on the shish kebab, Bob, but I didn't in this case. <laughs> Probably because I forgot. But that's, you know, old age. Whatever comes with cooking. There you go. 
Nugane wow. and Nummy. That's for dinner. Yeah, now the table's set and there it is. You got your grilled chicken shish kebabs right there. You got your uh, grilled lemons to squeeze on them. And you have your Caesar salad. Oh, lemon looks pretty juice. good on my stuff yeah, here. There it is, that lemon stuff. And you squeeze on there. It's pretty tough to do this out of the camera because I can't see what I'm doing. Can't see what I'm doing at the best of times. Good. Done deal. Take two. Food on a stick day was good. There you go.